Hi, Atewela. Yeah, I have unmuted myself. Iman, this is my cue to start, right? Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our monthly Filipino Mass. Today is Good Shepherd Sunday. We are reminded that the exercise of authority should reflect the dedication and love of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who came that we might have life and have it abundantly. May this Eucharist give us the strength to follow his example. In this Mass, we include the following intentions. For the personal intentions of Avelina Abelioning and Nina Setiar, Thanksgiving of the Elioso and Flores family, for the healing of Arnold Cesar, Christopher Camatoy, Jude Sumilang, Minerva Reyes, Rogelio Llorente, Russell Di Mesa, Delphine Anorma Maligalig, Marisa Relatado Chumito, Joseph Istopen, Luis and Christine Cortez, Amos and Marinette Garcia, Jorick and Lisa Jago, Shirley Ann Condes, and Clifford Jaime. For the eternal repose of the souls of Arturo Aruza, Norma, Maria Luz Recinto, Basilisa Bal Balacano, Salustiano Abasori Sr., Baby Angel, Romualdo Elvira Sr., Alvin Salceda, Eugene Mesias, Benjamin Gariando Sr., Angeline May Elises, Hannah Karina Elioso, Rachel Cortes, Julie Cortes, Andrew Julia, and Ben Turing. And we pray especially for the continued health of all COVID-19 Filipino health workers. We now have our entrance song. Nangguan <laughs> Nangalan niya ay ang sambitin, paang dito tayo lingapin. Bayang huling magtipon, awitan ng Panginoon. Sa piging sariwain, pagliligtas niya sa atin. Sa piging sariwain, pagliligtas niya sa atin. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. Uh, this is our Mass for the first uh, Sunday of the month of May as a Filipino community. So we offer this Mass for the intentions mentioned a while ago in the introduction. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy.
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We'll now recite the glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world of mercy. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3000 persons were added that day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For this is you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. For you have gone astray like sheep. But you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. You're not on mute. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Lord. to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I tell you most solemnly, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but gets in some other way, is a thief and a brigand. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in. The sheep hears his voice. One by one, he calls his own sheep and leads them out. When he has brought out his flock, he goes ahead of them. And the sheep follow because they know his voice. They never follow a stranger, but run away from him. They do not recognize the voice of strangers. Jesus told them this parable, but they failed to understand what he meant by telling it to them. So Jesus spoke to them again. I tell you most solemnly, I am the gate of the sheepfold. All others who have come are thieves and brigands, but the sheep took no notice of them. I am the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. 
you will go freely in and out and be sure of finding pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. The Gospel of the Lord. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. We are in the usual time before this uh, COVID-19 crisis, we see each other face to face. Now we see each other virtually. What is important, however, is that we have the means to connect to each other online. I especially greet our nurses and other health workers who work at different hospitals and nursing homes in Ireland and United Kingdom. Wherever you are right now, we are one with you in offering the celebration of the Mass for your intentions. Our special prayers for those who are in hospitals or in isolation because of COVID-19. Sadly, we also pray for those who died because of this virus. The fourth Sunday of Easter, which is today, is always Good Shepherd Sunday. In the Old Testament, the relationship of God with the people of Israel is compared to that between a shepherd and his flock. For instance, Isaiah says that God is like a shepherd feeding his flock, gathering lambs in his arms. And God says also to Ezekiel, I myself will pasture my sheep. I shall be a true shepherd to them. Psalm 23, sung beautifully by Daniel as a responsorial psalm today, describes this kind of relationship between God and his people. And I'm going to read uh, the same psalm. I'm not going to sing because I must, I'm not a singer. So I just uh, say the same in Tagalog. Ang Panginoon ang aking pastor. Pinagiginhawa akong lubos. Handog niya ay timlayat sa liwang pastulan. Ang pahingahan ko ay payapang batisan. Patid sa kaluluwa ay kaginhawaan. Sa kumpak na langdas siya ang patubay. Madilim na lambak man ang tatahakin ko. Wala akong sinda siya ay kasama. Ang hawak niyang tungkod ay siyang gabay ko. Tangan niyang pamayo, siglat, tanggulan ko. Kagandahang loob pawang kabutihan, ang tanging kasunod ng buhay kong taglay, doon sa tahanan ng kong may kapal, nais kong manahan magpakailanan. The concept of God as shepherd is fulfilled in Jesus. He describes himself in our gospel today as the gate at the sheepfold and the voice who calls his own sheep by name. Lead them out, walks ahead of them, and the sheep follows him because they recognize his voice. In other words, the shepherd cares for his sheep. Pope Francis said that Jesus is the only shepherd who speaks to us, knows us, gives us eternal life, and keeps us. Jesus, the good shepherd, welcomes and loves not only one strength, but one's faults. The good shepherd, Jesus, our Lord, is attentive to each of us, seeks us, and loves us, addressing his word to us, knowing our heart, our desires, and our hopes, as well as our failures 
and disappointments. In this time of COVID-19 pandemic, the Good Shepherd Jesus, our God, cares for all of us. We are saved because of the security of His love. We are sure to find pastures, the nourishment, and the satisfaction that give purpose to life. As our Good Shepherd, He is our guide. He is our healer. He is there for us always. This morning, I received a text message from a friend in the Philippines. It says, No one expected that the alphabet C would play so much role in coronavirus, COVID-19, case, Confirmed, confinement, contamination, containment, curfew. The most serious seas are cemetery, cremation. The possible remedial drug is chloroquine. But at the same time, cleanliness is the remedy. Courage is the need of the hour. Compliance to the expert advice. Contention to overcome the crisis. Clarity of thought. Cooperation with the fellow beings. Caring the needy, etc. And finally, the clearance is awaited in a short while and definitely looking forward you. The answer to all these C's is Christ Jesus, our shepherd. Kaya mga kapatid, kahit may mga pangamba tayo sa ating sitwasyon ngayon, let us always remember God in our day-to-day -day life during this crisis. Christ, our good shepherd, cares for us. May always be our strength in facing this current crisis of our life. He invites us, come to me and I will give you rest. He never fails because he knows the path we walk every day. As his little children, he knows when to carry us on his shoulders for our own safety. I would like to end my reflection with this version of Psalm 23 for computer people. I think this is an appropriate, this is appropriate since during this pandemic, we are most of the time in front of our computers, smartphones, iPads, and telescreens. I hope and pray that before we use them or before we start anything, will be reminded of the God who is our good shepherd. So I'd like to ask uh, Iman to uh, put in the screen Psalm 23 for computer people as our reflection, uh, part of our reflection for our celebration of the mass. Psalm 23 for computer people. It's from a known author. The Lord is my programmer, I shall not crush. He installed his software on the hard disk of my life, of my heart. All of his commands are user-friendly. His directory guides me to the right choices for a namesake. Even though I scroll through the problems of life, I will fear no bugs, for he is my papa. His password protects me. He prepares a menu before me in the presence of my enemies. His self is only a Christo away. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And my file will be merged 
with his love and save forever. We now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day, and rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body and life everlasting. Amen. Prayers of the faithful. Let us pray to the Father that he may take care of us and raise up good shepherds to thank the people of God. Our response, Lord, listen to your people. May our Holy Father Francis and church leaders continue to be true shepherds, leading their flocks to good pastures, we pray. Lord, Lord listen to your, to your people. people. Like Jesus, the good shepherd who loved and died for his people, may our political and civil leaders govern in such a way that our time, marked by many signs of violence and death, may see the establishments of peace and culture of life, we pray. Lord, listen to your people. May young people, following the good examples of their place in society, with a sense of responsibility, service, and respect for the dignity of each person, we pray. Lord, listen to your people. Today, World Day of Prayer for Vocations, we pray that there will be, there be more young men and women who respond to God's call to the priesthood and consecrated life and give themselves totally to the cause of the kingdom. We pray. Lord, May those who are sick and at the moment of death receive the comfort of the Lord so that they may not fear, but hold on to the good shepherd who died to give life to all of us. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, for the personal intentions of Avelina, Abelion Ning, and Nina Sityar, Thanksgiving of Elioso and Flores family, for the healing of Arnold Cesar, Christopher Camatoy, Jude Sumilang, Minerva Reyes, Rogelio Llorente, Russell De Mesa, Delphine and Norma Maligalig, Marisa Ritalado Tiumico, Joseph Estupen, Luis and Christine Cortez, Amos and Marinit Garcia, Jorik and Lisa Diago, Jerly and Condes and Clifford Jaime. For the eternal repose of the souls of Arturo Arosa, Norma, Maria Luz Ricinto, Basilisa Balacano, Salustiano Abasola Sr., Baby Angel, Romualdo Elvira Sr., Alvin Salceda, Eugene Messias, Benjamin Gariando Sr., Angelaine May Elesis, Hannah Karina Elioso, Ben Turing, Ray Jill Cortez, Julie Cortez, Andrew Julia, Hippolito, and Dante Villamor. Let us pray for the continued health and safety of all Filipino healthcare workers fighting against COVID-19 and for our own personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen, Lord, listen to your people. 
Father, grant us the desire to serve our brothers and sisters so that when our chief shepherd appear, we shall receive the unfading crown of glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now have the liturgy of the Eucharist. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands and the praise of God's name. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in this Paschal mystery so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our ending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right. It's right. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar supper, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Who is the memory of you. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake in the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis our Pope and Dermot our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of their face. 
of mercy on us all, we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother God, the Blessed Joseph, the spouse of the Blessed Apostles, Saint Peter, Jill, and Amar, and all the saints have blessed you throughout the ages. We merit to be course eternal life, and we praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and form by divine peace sing, we dare to sing together. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, to be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As a rate of blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look at the houses. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. It does offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all, wherever you are. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. No. 
Kanan alis ng mga kasalanan ng mundo. Mawakas amin, putero ng Diyos, mawakas. Putero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan ng mundo. Kaloob mo sa amin ang kapayapaan. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the motets of the sins of the world. Bless our just call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that should enter in my life, but I just say the word, bless the Lord. So we'll now pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you were already there and unite myself only to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. We now are going to pray the prayer for healthcare workers. Together, loving God, we place in okay. care all our doctors, nurses, nurses, and emergency workers. Give them care and strength. And strength. And strength. And strength. And strength. And Keep them safe from harm. We do know our deep gratitude for all we are doing to heal and help okay. those who have the coronavirus. God of all consolation, we know your protection. Bless them in this challenging days and bless Amen. their families. Amen. So, any announcement from Father Pat or just a message from Father Pat? There are those who are watching on Facebook, uh, those who are in touch with us. These are very strange times. First time I've ever experienced when churches are closed, when we can no longer uh, meet one another, people are separated from one another. But I think this is something to remind us that we may be apart, but we are together. Physically apart, yes, we cannot be as close to our families and to our friends as we would like to, but we can be together, united in love, united in faith. I think it's very nice today, uh, the Mass, when we are reminded that Jesus is the Good Shepherd, and it is a reminder to us that we do need a shepherd. We, not individually, as a community, the people who are suffering all over the world, rich and poor, it's a reminder to us how very weak, how vulnerable we are, we need one another, we need people, and we need so many of those who are involved in caring for the sick here in Ireland, in the Philippines, and different parts of the world. We thank the Lord for their skills, we thank the Lord for their love, we pray that the Lord may bless them. It is a time also, I think, which calls for hope. Remember, this time will pass. The world and the church uh, have passed through difficult periods, long periods of suffering, long periods of anxiety, but this too will pass. Jesus, who suffered on the cross, is with us, with his people in their sufferings. He will be with us also into the future. So we say thank you very much. Thanks to Father Rene for organizing this, and we pray that the Lord may continue to watch over all of us during this very difficult times. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father Pat. Uh, I'd like also to uh, thank everyone who made this uh, first online Filipino community mass uh, uh, online through or via Zoom. Our readers, William, uh, uh, for the introduction, uh, Lenny, uh, for the first reading, and uh, uh, for our son, Daniel, and uh, Brodel, for the offertory, and for our musician, uh, Wayne Torres, and uh, the technical person behind this online uh, uh, bus, the uh, Iman, thank you very much, and also to uh, 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 Romy. And who else? Did I put uh, Mila? Meron bang nakalimutan? Carl. Carl, of course, si Carl pala. Okay. So thank you, Bago Lupit. So thank you very much. Ate Norma. So sa ating mga viewers, uh, Zoom, if those who are invited, uh, thank you for joining us. And also to those of you in our Filipino Chaplaincy Facebook page. So thank you very much sa inyo nga. And, the, uh, for the rosary. and also for the uh, rosary before our mass uh, by uh, Sister Norma and uh, Brother Albert. 
than yesterday. Thank you, very much. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. With your family safe, O Lord, we pray grant them the abundance of your mercies that they will find growth through the teachings and the gifts of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Panginoon, katagastasan, kakilakilabot at nakilang hari ng sangkalu. Paan, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Awitin natin papuri sa kanya, kahanga-hanga ang kanyang mga gawa, pasalamatan ang kadakilan ng tagapagligtas, buong pagmamahal ng sangkatauhan. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Thank you very much. Yes, everyone. Yes, everyone. Stay safe. Everyone. Daniel. Huh? Everyone.